we're doing something special this week. We've invited some of the most incredible Guinness World Records title holders of all time to come and play for big money. It's Millionaire Guinness World Records Edition. <laughs> and at the end of the week, we've got one of the most famous record breakers coming in to play, game show legend, Ken Jennings. <laughs> Returning today is the Guinness World Records title holder for the largest collection of comic books in the world. From Mission Viejo, California, please welcome Bob Brito! Hey, Bob! How you doing, my man? How are you? Come on over here. Now, Bob, how many comic books do you have? Um, my record's for 94,268, but I've been buying more comics since then. So I have over 95,000, and that's all different comics, Terry. That's no two the same. Where do you keep it all? I've got a three-car garage. Now, I can fit one car in that three-car garage. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. That's your garage? That's, well, that's the two-car part that I... Uh, keep my comics in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I have to say this is incredible. I feel really sad because I gave away my comic book collection when I was a kid. It was pretty bad. We can set you up. Oh and listen, we're gonna have to talk. You get a million you get a, dollars. You get a hold of me, I'll set you up with some comic oh, books. Oh set Terry. me up. I'm trying to get you a million dollars and we can have all the comic books you can read forever. Now just to recap you are working your way through round one. You have banked forty thousand dollars. Yes. And you are twelve questions away from the million, with two of your lifelines remaining. Are you ready to play, Bob? I'm ready to play. Let's play, millionaire. Here is the next question. To scare their kids into being nice instead of naughty, many parents place what popular toy in the house, warning that it reports back to Santa? The elf on the shelf, the reindeer on the chair, the snowman in the pan, the Grinch on the bench. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I know this one, Terry, but... You know, I've never heard of the snowman in the pan or the Grinch on the bench. The Grinch stole Christmas. He didn't sit on a bench too much. Um, the elf sits on the shelf, and he's keeping an eye on those little kids and reporting back to Santa. So I'm going to go A, final answer. You are correct, Bob. It's the elf on the shelf. Unless there's some money in your bank. A hundred dollars. The questions are randomized. Like we said, here is your next question. The title of the 2014 James Brown biopic, Get On Up, is taken from a song called Get Up, I Feel Like Being a What? Prisoner of Love, Sex Machine, Greedy Man, Teenager Again. I do not know the answer to this. Um, I am going to use my plus one lifeline. You definitely want to use your plus I one? definitely want to use my plus one. Who did you bring with you today? I brought my buddy Rick Gordon. All right, Rick. Come on down here, Rick. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I got this. Now, there's an interesting fact about you guys that you never met before in person right. before this show. That's right. How did this happen? We've known each other through comics for a long time, like over eight years, and we used to do a audio podcast over the internet, and lately we've been doing a video podcast where we just talk about comics. You know, the theme of it's uh, dedicated to the 10-year-old and all of us, and we just like talking about this kind of stuff. So we, we see do. each other over the internet, but we never met in person until we came out here to play Millionaire. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, hopefully he knows a lot about James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and work on this question. What do you think, sir? I think it is your old nickname from high school, Sex Machine. Ooh. 
You were hanging around my uh, high school. <laughs> You're sure about that? I am absolutely, absolutely sure. sure. All absolutely right. Sure. My buddy says sex machine. I'm going to go sex machine. Final answer. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I just like saying it. Sex machine. Sex machine. You are correct, <laughs> Bob. You are a sex machine. <laughs> now let's go to the money machine. How much? That's how you use the plus one. Forty-two thousand one hundred dollars in your bank. One lifeline remaining. Here we go. Bedridden after a bus accident, what self-taught artist learned to paint self-portraits using a mirror she attached to her canopy bed? Mary Casa, Rita Kahlo, Georgia O'Keeffe, Grandma Moses. Another one that I have no idea about. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to jump this question. OK, Bob has jumped. The question is now out of play. What is the correct answer? Frida Kahlo, how much money did you jump over? $500. Oh, that's not bad. Not a problem. Not bad. You are one step closer to that million dollar figure, here is your next question. Don't touch the blowhole is a common rule of thumb for people swimming with which of these animals? Manta rays, dolphins, manatees, sharks. Well, you know what? I think you'd have a lot of other problems if you're swimming with sharks. <laughs> that, uh, touching the blowhole, which they don't have, by the way, would not be something you would do. People swim with dolphins. It's a big thing. Dolphins have blowholes. But imagine they don't like it being touched. I'm going to go the final answer. No lifelines remaining, but you did not need them. You are correct, Bob. You know your dolphins. Can we get some of that big money in the bank, please? edition. I'm here with the man who has more comic books than anybody else in the world, Bob Bretall from California, and he's got $47,100 in his bank. Are you ready to continue playing? Let's do it. Let's play Millionaire! Here is your next question. Making him immune while his troops suffered the disease years later, George Washington once contracted what ailment in Barbados? Malaria, syphilis, smallpox, Spanish flu. It's not smallpox. Smallpox is a very deadly, deadly ailment. I would hope it's not syphilis. Uh, for George. Depends on what kind of shore leave he was on down in Barbados. Um, it's probably it's malaria or Spanish flu. I know the troops had span had flu. Malaria is kind of a tropical disease. Are you a risk taker? Eh, a little bit. A big risk. You know, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go D, Spanish flu. D, final answer. Bob, I'm so sorry. The answer is C. Oh. Small pots. I'm sorry, you get a thousand dollars just for being here, Bob. Thank you so much, my man. God bless you. Thank you. Bob 
Robin is still a superhero. Our next contestant is quite ambitious when it comes to celebrating milestones. For her 30th birthday, she walked 300 miles for charity. For her 40th, she was determined to become a Guinness World Records title holder. And now she is. From Indianapolis, Indiana, please welcome Susan Barancini Mo. Record holder, what is your title in? Longest uninterrupted live webcast. Longest uninterrupted yes. live webcast. <laughs> now, how long did it go? 36 hours, 23 seconds. <laughs> did you sleep in the middle of it while you were yes. I oh, had, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, had, I had 33 speakers and a lot of friends who helped me. So it was a, a good event with a lot of great information. And look, and now you are here playing millionaire. Are I you am. ready to get into it? Yes. All right, then, the questions have already been shuffled. We are shuffling their money values as well. Remember, you've got all your lifelines. Are you ready, Susan? I'm ready. Let's play Millionaire! Here is your first question. Airing since 1980, Bobby Jones Gospel is the longest running show on what cable network? MTV, BET, A&E, FX. Wow. <laughs> My first question, I don't know if I know anything about this, but let me think here. Okay, it's been airing since 1980, and it's the longest running show. I don't think it's MTV. That just seems like not the right thing for MTV. And... It doesn't seem like it fits with A&E or FX, so... Let me think a little more here. Uh, my first question, I don't want to get it wrong. You have three lifelines. I know, but I don't want to use them yet. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna say... B. B-E-T. Final answer. You have the longest running webcast, and now you know about the longest running show. It's B and D. You are correct. <laughs> Let's give us some money. One thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. A great way to start the oh, game. Good. Let's keep this going. Here is your next question, Susan. A method of spying. What term is inspired by the act of secretly lingering beneath an external part of one's home? Cornice climbing, gutter clinging, <laughs> eavesdropping, dormer dangling. I, I just like the word dormer dangling, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's not the answer. <laughs> um, spying, secretly lingering beneath an external part of one's home. I know my parents didn't want me doing this when I was young. So I'm going to say C, eavesdropping, final answer. And you are correct, yes. <laughs> Let's drop some money in her bank, please. To Millionaire Guinness World Records Edition. I'm here with the lovely Susan Baron Chidimo from Indiana, and she has $8,000 in her bank. <laughs> Are you ready to keep it going, Susan? Yes, yes. Let's play Millionaire! <laughs> here is your next question. What phrase does Trader Joe's use to describe many of their store brand diet foods? Lowered quality, <laughs> lessened flavor, minimized taste, reduced guilt. I shop at Trader Joe's all the time, so I know that none of the first three make sense. Also, 
they wouldn't use those anyway. They wouldn't say their food had lower quality or minimized taste or lessened flavor. But what they would say, and I'm pretty sure they do say, is reduced guilt D. Final answer. There's no shame in her game. You are correct. It's D. Let's give her some big money, please. A hundred dollars. Hey, I'll take no shame in that. <laughs> no guilt in that. Let's go on to your next question. Eight thousand one hundred in your bank. Here we go. According to WebMD, people taking drugs, including Lipitor, Zoloft. Viagra and many antibiotics should refrain from doing what? Jumping on trampolines, eating shellfish, going above 20,000 feet, drinking grapefruit juice. Well, um, I know that grapefruit juice expands the, the effectiveness of certain drugs because my dad's a doctor, so... Let me take a moment and make sure I'm being careful. Um, but I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to jump on trampolines. I can't imagine why you wouldn't go above 20,000 feet. And no one's ever told me not to eat shellfish when I was on antibiotics. So I'm going to say D, drinking grapefruits, grapefruit juice, final answer. Man, your dad being a doctor helped you today. It's correct. Can we get some money? $100 in your bank. Oh. Let's keep this going. Here's your next question. Though he later successfully recovered it, Yo-Yo Ma once left Petunia worth $2.5 million in the back of a taxi. Petunia is the name of his what? Cello, wristwatch, video camera, sword. I know this story because I grew up playing violin and I remember when it happened. I didn't even need to see the answers. It's A, cello, final answer. And you are right, Susan, you know it. Your memory serves you correct. Let's serve up some money. $5,000. We'll be right back with Susan and more Guinness World Records edition right after this. Here's your question of the day. Despite its sweet-sounding name, what notoriously mean animal was named the world's most fearless by Guinness World Records? Piglet squid, cuttlefish, sun bear, honey badger. Stay tuned for the answer. The answer to that question was honey badger. Welcome back to Millionaire Guinness World Records Edition. I'm here with the lovely Susan Barancini Mo from Indiana. She's got $15,100 in her bank. You ready to put some more in there? Yes! <laughs> Let's play Millionaire! Here is your next question. Before becoming King of Sweden, Jean-Baptiste Jules Bernadotte fought for Napoleon, earning the nickname Sergeant Beljean, or Sergeant what? Beautiful leg, <laughs> handsome ear, pretty foot, lovely arm. Wow. Beljean. I know because I studied French growing up, Beljean means beautiful leg, so I'm going to say a, beautiful leg, final answer. All your French studies are paying off right now, Susan, you're right! Let's give it some Franks! $10,000 for Susan! $10,000! Bringing your total to $25,100. Our show for today. Make sure you pick up a copy of the Guinness World Records 2015 edition in stores now. We'll see you next time.